Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this eye makeup look. So for me, this is that eye makeup look that is sultry, but it goes with every single lip color that you want to wear. So it's bold enough that it's going to give you a pop if you wear a nude, but it's still subtle enough that if you want to go in with a bold lip, it's not going to clash with the lipstick. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see how to do this look, then just keep on watching. You guys know the drill. We're going to start out by priming our eyes. This is the Sigma Beauty eyeshadow base in the shade Persuade. And I'm just applying a light layer of that all over the lid. And I'm just blending that out with my Zoeva 142 brush. I want to make sure it's nice and blended out all the way on this inner corner and all the way to this outer corner out here. Okay, so next we're gonna do the tape method because I want that outer corner to be very nice and sharp and I honestly think this is the easiest thing that you can do. So I just have a piece of tape. I'm going to line that on the outer corner and I want this to be a little bit straighter, kind of like that. And you see I have a little bit of space right here. That way I can connect it to the outer corner. For the eyeshadows, I'm going to be going in with the Juvia's Place Coffee Shop palette. And here's what that looks like. It just has really nice, rich, warm tone browns. I'm first going to take that lightest shade. And I'm going to use that color. This is a Sigma E60 brush. And I'm just patting that into the crease. So I really want the crease area to be nice and diffused. Then I'm also going to bring it on the outer third of the lid. So I'm basically putting it everywhere except this kind of outer half of the lid. Next, you're going to take an eyeliner that blends really easily. I'm going to be using a black. This is the Stila Smudge Stick in the shade Stingray. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to run it on that outer lash line. Just very lightly because we're going to blend it out. I'm also going to put it kind of right here. So now that I have that shape, I'm going to take my Sigma EO or LO6 brush. And I'm going to buff that out. I'm keeping this pretty low down and this is where I'm going to start creating that little wing. So with that pencil brush, I'm just creating that shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of a rough guideline. And I'm going to bring that liner about halfway in. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here. And with a smaller fluffy brush, this is a Sigma E27. I'm going to just pack that kind of all over everything. So we're using that black just to really darken up that lash line. So I'm applying this color kind of all the way in. And the reason we set that inner half is it's going to allow this area to blend out really well and then this to be a little bit more structured. And with a tiny bit of that product, I'm going to take a Sigma E35 brush. I'm going to run this to the crease just to have a little bit of product in there, but I don't want it to be as pigmented. And I'm only doing this because I have so much space in my crease area. If you don't, you don't have to do this step. Next, I'm going to take this shade right here. And with a Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm going to do that same technique on the wing area. I'm just going to keep it a little bit lower down. And where I'm using a more concentrated brush instead of a blending brush, it's just going to stay more of where I want it. I'm going to bring it about, I don't know, two-thirds of the way in. But you can see I'm only bringing it in when I have almost no product on my brush. So I want it to be darker out here and then kind of fade inwards. And then with that fluffy brush and that last color, I'm just going to diffuse that out. And then go back in with that last darker color and that pencil brush and re-intensify. I'm going to look forward because my eye has like a little fold right here and I don't want it to look wonky. So I'm just going to look forward and make sure that doesn't bend right there. Also, I think I call this brush the LO6. This is the LO4. I'm going in now with the LO6. So now I'm taking our darkest color. And now with that LO6 brush, I'm going to put that right where that liner is. So it's going to be the darkest right down here at the bottom. And this brush is very, very small. It's technically a lip brush, but it's very nice for steps like this. And then I'm going to line that right at the lash line. And then I'm also making sure to bring it down here a little bit. So this really all connects. And now with that pencil brush with no additional product on there, I'm just going to blend that out. And now I'm just going to remove that tape. We'll kind of clean that up, but that gives you a rough guide of the line to work with. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing to my other eye and apply my concealer, and then we'll do that lower lash line together. Okay, now the concealer's on. I'm going to take that E27 brush and that lightest color that we use, and I'm going to run it along the lower lash line. I'm going to keep the lower lash line pretty bare. And then with that second darkest shade and a Sigma E15, I'm going to very lightly blend this inwards just so everything connects. And then with some concealer, I'm just going to really sharpen that line up. 
So you can see I'm just sharpening it and then I'm just blending it down. This is a MAC 212 brush. It's exactly like the E15 I was just using. This one's just one that I usually use for concealer. Okay, now we have that like sharpness out here. Now I'm going to apply a nude eyeliner in my waterline. This is the Tarte Fake Awake. So lashes are really important to this look because we have all of this definition on the outer corner. So we want either a half lash or a lash that is very short on the inner corner and it gets longer as it goes out. I'm going to take the bright lashes in the shade Flutter. It's kind of hard to see because it's reflective, but here's what they look like. So they are a half lash. So I'm going to curl my lashes, apply a decent amount of mascara like I was just going to be wearing mascara. And then I'm going to pop these on the outer corner, apply mascara on the bottom lashes, and I'm going to show you what this looks like completed. Okay, so here's the entire look completed. You can see that lashes really made that like outer corner stand out a little bit more. So you can definitely leave it looks like this completely matte, or you can add some glitter, which I'm going to add a little bit of for the look that I'm going to be doing today. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to take the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in the shade Flash and Dash. And you can see I just applied that to the palm of my hand. So I just applied that to a Sigma E36 brush. I'm going to roughly apply that kind of in this empty space right here where there is no product. I want it to be like diffused glitter, not like a heavy application, which is why I didn't apply it directly from the applicator. So I'm just kind of buffing that out and bringing it up here as well. Okay, so here is how that looks once the glitter is added on there. So you can just see it add just a tiny bit extra to the look. Like I said, sometimes I'll do the glitter, sometimes I'll leave it matte, but that is the entire look completed. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one.